everyone! Today I have this package from Music Korea to unbox, and if you've been watching my videos for a little while, you may know that Music Korea used to be basically my go-to site for buying K-pop albums. Unfortunately, that changed early last year when circumstances caused a lot of sites based in Korea to alter which shipping options they offered for international customers and the price of those shipping options unfortunately did increase as well. Nowadays, pretty much the only time I buy from Music Korea is when there is a fan sign opportunity that I want the photo cards from, which is the case with the album that I have today. Now, unlike most albums that I buy for fan sign entries, I will actually be doing a full unboxing of this because this is my first copy of this album which has arrived in the mail. I am super excited about this unboxing because as you can see we have One Wee's first mini album Planet Nine Alter Ego and One Wee are a K band that I got into last year and they very very quickly became one of my top groups. At this point I'll actually consider them my number one ultimate group. So I was super excited when it was announced that they were finally having a comeback because they have not had one since last December. So it's been a long six months of waiting. <laughs> finally, it's here and it is a mini album, which is actually the most amount of new songs they've gotten to release at one time. Because even though they had a full album last year, it was actually a compilation of songs they had previously released as digital singles with just a few new songs. And then... Memory Illusion was a single album with only three new songs. So there are seven brand new songs on this album. They're all very, very good. And as I said, this is the first copy of the album that I've received in the mail. Because One We Are, my number one alt group, I actively and thoroughly collect their photo cards. So I collect all five members and I aim to collect all of their cards for albums, special events like concerts, as well as fan signed photo cards. Now I don't know how long I will be able to continue doing that, depending on how many fan signs they have this era and how frequently they have comebacks from here on out, but that is why I did not pre-order the album from K-Town for You like I normally do because I knew I would be buying copies for fanzines. I have also ordered copies from the With the Drama fansign and the DMC Music fansign. That one's being sent to a proxy though, so I hope I'm able to get that one. And Makestar just announced their fansign calls as well, so of course I will be ordering copies to enter for that. So these are the exclusive photo cards you get from entering the fan sign. And with most of the Korean fan signs or fan sign calls, they will give out a full set of cards to each applicant. So it's like whether you buy one album or 50, you will only get one set of photo cards. So this is the back of the photo cards and it's gonna be the same for all of them because it doesn't have any of their names or anything on it. It just has the logo. One Way, and then Planet Nine Alter Ego. As I said, this will be the full set with all five members' photo cards. And these are in one of the outfits from the photo book where they have these like transparent red raincoats, which I think are super cool. And they go really well with the concept to the title track. Green to be. So we have Hyunju first. I like that they have the flowers as well from one of the photo shoots. A Dongyeon. Very, very cute with the sunflower. Dongyeon with the red rose. I will say it does bother me a tiny bit that the backgrounds aren't the same for all of them. Tia's is gray, whereas the others are blue. But very, very cute photo card. I love the blue flower. And then a horn is very, very precious as well. And as I said, I do collect OT5 photo cards, so super happy to have the full set. And with that being said, I will be happy 
with whoever's cards I pull on this album because I do collect all of them, so I will need all of their cards at some point in my collection. But that being said, Dong Young is my ultimate bias, so I am hoping to pull one of his cards first, since it will be a minute before my other albums begin arriving. So here's the album with the plastic wrap off, and I think the design of this album is super cool. It is a larger album again. I believe the dimensions are very similar to those of their single album Memory Illusion, but whereas Memory Illusion was a pretty thin album, this one is on the thicker side. Like, that is a really thick photo book. I'm really excited to look through it. And I do appreciate the consistency of most of their albums so far being larger like this. One was also larger, whereas the demo album is like really, really small. It stands out pretty clearly on the shelf because of how much smaller it is. But I like that everything else has been consistent because their brother group, One X, has had really consistent album sizing as well. And I really like the way that looks displayed on a shelf. And I also really like the cover design. We have this really pretty picture from the music video set of the five of them standing in the water to go along with the concept of the music video. On the spine, the design is actually different on the different spines. So on this side, uh, we've got some production credits like Cow, RBW, and it says Planet Nine, Alter Ego. Whereas on this one, this is first mini album, Planet Nine, Alter Ego. But then we have the One We logo at the bottom, which I think is really cute. It's interesting actually that neither of the spines say <laughs> One Way. They actually just have the album name and then their logo on this side. Interesting choice. And then the back of it I think is really cool. Um, I don't love that it's sealed with a sticker. That makes me very nervous, although I've heard that it apparently is pretty easy to take off without leaving residue. Still don't like it. Still not a big fan of sealing anything <laughs> with a sticker. At least it's not a bag. I would knock on wood so that they don't get that idea for their next album. But I think it's really cool. It has the track listing up here. So you can see the seven songs. We have the intro of Spaceship, the title track Rain to Be, and then the B-sides, Aurora, which was previously revealed at their Studio V6 online and offline concerts earlier in the year. Logo, which is a much older unreleased song that they first revealed at Studio V number one, all the way back in, I think that was 2018. That was long before I became a fan. It was a very infamous unreleased song amongst the fandom, and now it is finally released, and it is a very good song. Well worth the wait, in my opinion. Then we have AI, which is actually a remake of a song from Kia's SoundCloud, which originally featured Lido from Oneness, and that is one of my favorite songs on Kia's SoundCloud, so I was super excited to see it getting a remake here. They changed it a lot. Almost all of the lyrics changed, aside from I think the first verse was the only thing kept intact, but both versions of the song are really, really good. If you like one, I highly recommend listening to the other because it's a very different experience, but both very good in different ways. We have the brand new tracks, Veronica and Cosmos. And again, they're all really good. They're all really different. I highly, highly recommend checking them out because I really do feel like there is at least one one way song for everyone. They have very diverse songs while still maintaining a cohesive sound, and I think that's very, very impressive for a band to be able to do. And my favorite part about this back cover design is this part right here. This is actually lyrics from, I believe it's a translation of a section of lyrics from Cosmos. And it says, beginning from a small point, I took astronomical time and I created my own universe by collecting things that lost their place to go. I just think that's a really beautiful and poetic passage, and I love that that is the lyrics that they chose to highlight on the back of the album here. And now let's see how easily I am able to get this sticker off. You know what? It actually does peel up really easily. 
That was not a lie, but I'm very nervous about going to have to re-stick that and unseal it every time I want to open this album, because I feel like that's going to cause trouble down the line. So it looks like it folds open. I've not seen any unboxings. I've tried to stay spoiler-free, so this is all going to be brand new to me. So that's actually really cool. So this is... Okay, so, okay. I'm trying to figure out how this works. So this is the front of the album, and then the back part folds out. And we've got this really gorgeous photo of the five of them. Very, very pretty, and very neat packaging as well. I don't think I've ever seen an album that has opened up quite like this before. This is kind of a big album, so I'm hoping I can show the pages well enough. So here we have our title page, it says Plan 9, Alter Ego. Oh, and the pages feel really nice quality as well. So that's wonderful, especially for a bigger photo book like this. Oh, but these pictures are so beautiful. So these are actually two separate photos, it's not a group photo. We've got one with Harin, Dong Young, and Youngun, and the other one has Kia and Kanhyun, or Hyungu or affectionately referred to as bias line. That's like a whole running gag within the group that those two are each other's biases and Yongun desperately wants to be their biases instead. It's very fun. They're a very fun group. I, I love watching their content quite a bit. It's very entertaining. God, I, this is just page one and I'm already having a hard time moving on just because of how pretty they all look. Oh, I'm so excited to look through this photo book. Okay, so they put out a lot of photo teasers before the album came out, and one of my favorite sets of teasers they did were these, where they had their instruments and then had these flowers superimposed over it. They have, like, some actually on the instrument, you can see there, and then they have flowers digitally added in on top of it, and I think that is so pretty. And I feel like a lot of times, especially lately, more groups are not putting teaser photos in the album. So I'm really happy that these did make it into the album because I think these photos are so gorgeous. And they look even more gorgeous in person on a really big page like this. It's so pretty. And then we have this gorgeous picture of Dong Young. But then again, isn't every picture of Dong Young a gorgeous picture of Dong Young? He's so pretty. Those are Hyungu. The purple flowers on his guitar. These pictures of Youngun. And these are gorgeous shots of Harin with the white lilies, I think. I'm bad with flowers, so if I say the wrong flower name, please forgive me. And I love that for most of the flowers, they matched them up with the members' signature colors as well. With Dong Young, we have these yellow roses, since his favorite color is yellow. That's so pretty. His hair was so long when they did this photo shoot, too. Since they did all the filming for this album, he has, like, progressively cut his hair shorter and shorter and shorter. And I get it. It's summer. It's hot. Long hair can definitely be a hassle during the summer months, but as a long hair enthusiast, I'm so sad about it. <laughs> and so glad that at least we got this really gorgeous photo shoot to uh, memorialize it. <laughs> Speaking of long hair, Harn is also rocking some longer hair right now, and again, it looks really gorgeous on him. Would not have expected it, but it looks so pretty. This shot of Yangun. This is one of the teaser photos, and it is so gorgeous. I don't know what it is about the mic hanging from the ceiling and, like, just the way he's holding it. It's so pretty. Such a gorgeous photo. Like, I am barely into this photo book, and I am already losing my mind over how pretty these pictures are. This is going to be a long unboxing. I apologize in advance. And of course we have Dong Young with Dodo, which is the name of his guitar. That was Horan's teaser, you can tell because of the superimposed flowers. And I think it's cool that they only did those on the teaser shot. That the rest of them are just the normal photos. 
and like I'm normally critical of blank space in a photo book, but I like I really like the way they laid these pages out with the smaller photos. That way it's not it doesn't feel like wasted space. It feels uh, purposeful. And I don't mind it when they do partly blank pages in a purposeful way. <laughs> that is a really cute picture of Kia. He looks like he's thinking about something. I don't know why y'all don't need the mic. That was Hyungu's teaser photo. They're all so pretty. And this is only concept number one. Yeah, something about her in the white suit with the white flowers on the drums is just so gorgeous. Oh, we get some unit photos with the flower instruments as well. So pretty. And once again, they are divided up into Youngun, Dongyoung, and Harin, and then Bias Line. Of course, Bias Line are inseparable, <laughs> even in photo shoots. So now we have our first concept switch. These are the same outfits, but it is a different setting. They are outside, presumably from when they filmed the music video for Rain to Be. Oh, that's really cute. They did like a Polaroid design and superimposed that over a picture of the forest. Very pretty. I will say I'm not a big fan of this blank space page. I do think that could have been utilized a little bit better. But this page is pretty. So now we have our first water photo shoot. And that is to go along with, again, the title track, Rain to Be. That is such a gorgeous picture of Kia. Such a close-up. It's really pretty. These were, I believe, the first sort of teasers we got for the album were from this uh, water photo shoot. Again, hard looking very gorgeous with the longer hair. And as I said earlier, another gorgeous picture of Dong Young because all pictures of Dong Young are gorgeous. Then we have the unit photo. So the units are different now. We have Hyungu and Haran, or our 98 line. That is, a, again, a very close-up picture of Yangun. Very pretty. I'm trying really hard to show the full pages, but it's very hard with how big this photo book is. Because this side wants to curl up and not show the whole thing. We're not going to talk about that picture of Harn. We're just going to move on to the next one. <laughs> That's a really cool set of photos. I like how much focus I feel like there is on the instruments in this photo shoot. I think that's really cool. It's a really unique thing for a band group to do. Then again, gorgeous picture of Hyungu. The colors in this photo book are so gorgeous. Like, all the hair colors they have right now are really pretty, and then the way that the coloration is in the photo book brings them out even more. Such a gorgeous spread of Hadi. Again, very cute. Something about Kia with the white hair makes him look even more emo, and I love that. And we have Dongmyeon, Youngoon, and Kia. Again, not a huge fan of all the blank space here, but with a photo book this big, I can forgive a couple pages like that. Again, the colors in this photo book are just so pretty. I really love all the bright colors. It's interesting because the music video is actually not like that. The music video is much more muted in coloring. And I kind of actually like that. Normally I don't like when there's a disconnect between video and photo book, but because they did use the same concept for both, I feel like that helps give each of them a different vibe. And even though they are in the same outfits, the photo book has a brighter tone to it, while the music video is a little darker, a little more brooding. I think it helps it from feeling a little bit too samey, because I do feel like that is a problem that the RBW photo books run into with them having the same concepts as the music video a lot of the time. It can kind of feel like you've already seen it when you're going through the photo book, whereas because this is different, it has a different vibe, so it still feels fresh and new. But that's my thoughts on it. Again, 
just gorgeous. All these photos are just so gorgeous. Again, love the shots of them playing the soaked instruments. I don't think you're supposed to sit on a piano like that, but to be fair, that's a piano drenched in water. I don't think it works anymore. <laughs> That's cool. We've got some photos from a bit further along in the filming process where the water is raining on them and it's much higher up, as you can see. It's a very cool music video and photo shoot concept. That is so funny to me how they're all sitting on that couch in completely different manners. And like, why am I not surprised at all that he is perched on the armrest like a gremlin? Like, of course he is. Of course he sits like that. Of course he would. There's Young Ju. With his half drowned guitar. Which, fear not, most of the instruments that they have in this photo shoot were not theirs. They were either replicas or, like, secondhand ones. The one exception is Song Young's guitar, which is actually his old guitar, but it was already broken. It was already messed up. It is sad, though, because. He had that one for a while. I know I'm saying this like every page, but these pictures are just so gorgeous. I, I don't have much else to say. That is such a cool photo. And I really like this band photo as well. Very nice. Okay, I had seen that this was like this, and I will say this is one thing I will complain about. So this is the lyrics book, and it's just kind of attached in the middle of the photo book. And that's a trend that a lot of SM albums have been doing lately. I don't know if other companies have as well, but SM is the one that I know has been doing it. And I don't like it. I don't like having smaller pages in the middle of the bigger pages. It bothers me. I'm like, please either make them the same size or make this a separate photo book and don't attach it. I don't like that it's attached in the middle. It bothers me. But that's just me complaining. But wow, this looks like it's gonna be cool. Because right away we have the lyrics for intro, Spaceship. And this really gorgeous photo of, I'm pretty sure that's Song Man. Like, with this space setting in the background, that is so pretty and so cool. That's gorgeous. I wonder if there's going to be something like that for every song. Oh my gosh, there is. This is so pretty. I did not know that this had photos like this in it. That's so beautiful. We have the lyrics for Rain to Be. This is a picture of Jungu. Man, yeah, this really makes me wish that these were normal size pages. What the heck? Because these pictures are gorgeous. Lyrics for Aurora, I think. It's either Young or Haran. Can't tell from the back. <laughs> Might be Haran. We have the lyrics for Logo. It's a really gorgeous illustration. The lyrics for AI, and fittingly, we have Kia for the picture, since this was originally his song. And I love that they did the lyrics in the shape of a heart. That is such cute attention to detail. I think, I think this is Youngun. If I have Youngun and Harn backwards, please forgive me. Their suits are both white. I can't tell who is who from the back. I'm going to say Yongun because of the red flowers. That's my guess. If I'm wrong, I apologize. We have the lyrics for Veronica. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love how they took the photos that they took, like, in nature on Earth and, like, made them spacey. That's so cool. And the lyrics for Cosmos. And I love what they did with the flowers in space, too. That's really gorgeous. Whoever designed this album did a really good job, in my opinion. Except for that being the way that is. But, like, the actual graphic design is gorgeous. 
give them a raise. And now we have another concept switch, and this is my favorite concept from the photo teasers. So I am super excited to look through these pages. So this one is basically, they're in these all black outfits, and they have like this jewel makeup. I don't know if they all had it, but I know some of them did at least. And again, they're in water to fit with the water concept. But And then the red lighting over it, I just think it's so cool. It's so pretty. I hate that I can tell that's your own too. <laughs> This was, this was Dong Young's teaser photo for this concept, and I was not expecting it to get a whole two-page spread. This is gorgeous. This is so pretty. And I'm realizing I have not talked about his nail art until now, so we need to take a moment to do that. How cute are the little raindrops that he did on his nails to go with the title track, Rain to Be? I just think that is so pretty and so adorable. This is my favorite page in the whole photo book. It might- I don't know if it will be topped in the little bit we have left, but so far this is my favorite. I'm a little bit biased. Wow. So gorgeous. So, 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 so gorgeous. And this was Horan's teaser photo. Interesting that that one didn't get blown up to full size, but Dong Young's did. His power. I'm joking. This is so pretty. The shot of just the rose. Oh, that is gorgeous. And this was Kia's teaser for this concept. Again, gorgeous. I love the glasses. With the glasses with no glasses. Remind me of the ones that Hong Jun wore for the Fever Part 2 Z version, I think it was. Where he had the blue suit and the, the glasses with no, no glasses. They're just frames. And we have even more different units. This time we have leader line, which is Yongun and Hyungu. And the reason they're called that is because Yongun is the current leader of One Wee, whereas Hyungu was the band's leader earlier on, back when they were still known as Moss 0094. Okay. I know what I said earlier, but this page is really pretty. <laughs> the, uh, the blue of the water with like the reddish pink of the lights. That's like my favorite colors right there. And then these really gorgeous photos of the members on top of that. Okay, this might be, this might be my favorite two pages. Gosh, they're all so pretty. I can't get over it. This is a gorgeous photo book. If you like One Wee even a little bit, do yourself a favor and go buy this album because it's so worth it musically and like artistically. It's so good. Also, I'm going to stop saying pages are my favorite because I think every page of this concept is just going to be my favorite. They're all so good. And see, I want to say they put Dong Young and Kia and Horan together to hurt me, but also like any combination of members would do that because I love them all. But wow, that... That is a gorgeous photo. But again, they are all gorgeous photos. I have a broken record. The rose! That's so pretty! What is that? Who comes up with this stuff? That's gorgeous! Ugh. Seriously, give every person involved in this a raise, because this is beautiful. Dude, what the fuck? How are you so pretty? How do you just look like that? You do, actually! <laughs> my gosh. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I can't. The way these pictures are juxtaposed with each other, like it's a mirror image, but it's not because they're two different pictures. This is so good. Why is this so good? No photo book should be allowed to be this good. This should be illegal. I think that was your own teaser. So very interesting that out of all the teaser photos, I feel like Dong Young's was the only one blown up on two pages like that. But you know what? It's what he deserves. That picture is art. All of these pictures are art. Look at his glasses. I can't get over them. They're so cool. I have no words. How are all of these pictures so good? They're like literally leaving me speechless because I don't- how do you talk about this per level of perfection? 
and like using the nail art like as part of the image like to represent tears i can't it's so good it's so cool oh i see we have we have another picture of this unit but this time it's blown up to two pages to make it even more painful and gorgeous and again this photo book is my favorite thing ever this is so pretty Okay, we're moving on to another concept. My suffering has ended. There's still like two more concepts in here. What the heck? Again, give all of the people involved in this a raise because this is such an incredible photo book. Oh my god. So now I have the raincoat concept, which again is them in these transparent red raincoats. So cool. So gorgeous. It's like take Disney World ponchos and make it fashion and I love it. And again with the red rose. That's so pretty. Where where are all of their modeling contracts? For real, for real. This is gorgeous. Hello? D do you mind? Gosh, Q looks like such a little emo kid with his bangs. So pretty. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, I almost forgot about the photo cards. Because I've been having such a good time just going through this photo book. I forgot there was more. Okay, so we're going to lay that to the side and look at that last. There's also a unit card. There's a photo card and a unit card. And I don't know which is which. We'll deal with that later. I actually like the water droplet effect in the photo book like this. They did it on some of the teaser images, but they were like superimposed over the whole thing. So I didn't like it as good there. But I really like it here as just like a little additional detail. And again, Dong Young gorgeous as always how many times can i say that in one video dude that's so pretty all these pictures with the flowers too like i live for floral aesthetics so much like this is specifically for me again bias line together you cannot separate them for long gosh that's so pretty i am such a broken record in this unboxing i'm sorry but all of these pictures are just so pretty i can't it is gorgeous. We've got a group photo. I will say it is a little bit sad that I feel like they had so many less photos of these last two concepts compared to the others. It almost makes me wish there were more pages, but I know this photo book is already so thick. I feel like that would be asking for too much. <laughs> okay, here's the other card. So we'll set that to the side as well. And then finally, we have the last concept, which is totally different from everything that came before. This is a much more casual concept. Very adorable. So we've got another group photo. I love the, like, yellow background here. That's really pretty. So I see we switched the units again. So this time we have Zero Zero Line, or Magne Line, Dong Young and Kia. So, 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 so cute. Again, just so many pretty photos. I can't. We've got Young Moon and Han. And then smaller individual photos of Dong Young and Kia. And then a unit photo of Young Moon, Han, and Hyungu. So, Young Line versus Makne Line for this one. I will say interesting that for this one, they did the teaser photos much smaller. Because I remember that was Young Moon's teaser photo. But again, I'm happy they included them because I feel like a lot of teaser photos get left out of the photo books these days. So I'm glad to see them in here, even if it is a smaller version of them. They're both just so gorgeous. All five of them are. I keep saying that, but it keeps being true. This long hair, we miss you. Maybe I'll grow it out again after, after summer. Seriously, what are they also pretty for? No, it's over. I'm so sad. Uh, but I love these group photos. I bring it up in literally every unboxing where there is a photo like this, but I don't know why, but I always really, really love photos like this where the members are like 
cuddled on top of each other, especially when they're, like, sleeping or acting like they're sleeping. And I think, I really do think it goes back to one of the Dramarama teasers that Monsax did. I still have the poster of that one up on my wall so many eras later just because I love it so much. I just, I don't know, I really like pictures like that. I don't know why. I just think they're cool. And that's the last two pictures. So that's a really good note to end it on, in my opinion. Do we have our credits? Let's see. Does it say artistic director, artwork concept planning? All, all you people. I hope you get a raise because you did very, very good. It's all so cool. And then even this. We've got the CD, which the disc design is so pretty. It's like the water, but it's like hollow. So, so, so gorgeous. And then we've got, again, the pictures from the lyrics book to represent each song. Like, you didn't have to add in that extra detail. You could have just stuck the CD there. You didn't have to do that, but you did, and it's so cool. I just think it's such a gorgeous album. And now, finally, we have our extra inclusions. So the first thing we have here is not random. Um, it is these little stickers that represent the seven songs. And it does bother me that these aren't in order. I do wish that Aurora and Rain to Be were swapped. But the pictures on these are really gorgeous. So we've got Enter a Spaceship, Aurora, Rain to Be, Logo, AI, this very cute little robot, Veronica, and then Cosmos. So gorgeous. I love that they look like stamps, too. I think that's really pretty. And then finally, our photo cards. I don't know which is the unit one and which is the regular album one. I feel like this one might be the unit one, so I'll look at it first. And I will say, this is the one aspect of the album that I am disappointed with, because there's only one version of the album, but there are two sets of individual member photo cards, but you only get one card per album. I don't love that, especially because for all of One Wee's previous albums, they had two sets of photo cards, but you got two cards per album. I know some people feel like the unit card might make up for that. I don't feel like it does. I, don't know, I, I just personally feel like if you have multiple photo card sets in an album, you should include one card for each set. That's just my perspective. I know why they don't do it like that. I know it's for capitalism. I know it's to sell more albums, but it's just a pet peeve of mine. And even though when we are my old group, I'm, I'm still, it's still a pet peeve of mine. I'm not gonna let it slide. And I hope this doesn't become a pattern for future albums of theirs. I would very much like if RBW would go back to the two individual cards per album. Unit cards are fun. I'm very glad that we have some, but I, I don't like that it's at the expense of getting two member cards per album. There's also only four unit cards, so not a whole lot. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I got Harin and Hyungu for this one. I got 98 line. Very, very, very cute. Hyungu's hair looks so vibrant. It's very pretty. And then let's see, who do I get for the member card? The back is not giving me any clues. I'm gonna assume this is an illustration that one of the members drew, but I don't, I don't know who would have drawn this. Oh, Hyungu! Okay, so Hyungu really loves me today. <laughs> it's the guy's unit card and one of his solo cards. You know what? That makes sense. That that very much does make sense for a Hyungu drawing, because it's space. And he, of course, is the writer of the space series of One Wee songs. But like I said, I hadn't seen the backs, so I didn't know. I didn't know what they were supposed to draw. I didn't know whose drawings looked like what. But... Very, very cute. A little bit sad that I don't have any Dongryungs, just because he is my ult. And it's always, you know, extra exciting to pull your ults cards, but I am very, very, very happy with both of these pulls, and will definitely be keeping them, because like I said, I collect OT5. I am hopelessly whipped for this band. But as I said, I do have more copies coming in, and I will be doing photo card reveals for all of those as well when I do get those in. But that is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, 
please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.